everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got another fun card for you, and this is a concertina, I guess, garden scene card. So I've made this seven, five by seven, which well, is just over. It's actually five and a quarter by seven and a quarter box envelopes. So this is perfect for any kind of 3D cards that you're doing that are five by seven. So if you've got any that have got real dimensional flowers on them, this envelope would be really handy. But you just open the top here, and then inside you have this what I think is an absolutely stunning card. And there you have it. So it's a concertina style, so it will stand up like this. It looks gorgeous. When you look at it straight on, the profile's just so nice. I will talk you through everything I'm using. You'll recognize these flowers anyway, because they were what I used for the pop-up card, which I um, featured last week. And these little fence, that I'm using these little fences here that I'm using were what I purchased a couple of weeks ago from the works and again I will um, link and share all that with you in a moment but how lovely is that I think this is absolutely stunning I'm so pleased with how it's come together and uh, yeah let me show you how to make it okay so to make this concertina fold card I've already done one half here okay so this is what we're going to be aiming to achieve now this is using those little fences that I said from the works. This is how they look when you get them. So you can see there, that's just in their raw form. And then I've just got some acrylic paint, gesso, and just gone over them just to make them white. You can also distress them with like your, any of your distressed inks, your browns and things like that, if you want to make them look a little bit vintage and sh you know more of a shabby chic look. But I really liked that crisp white. So I've gone ahead and already prepared them. So you'll need four of those ones if you manage to get these and they will all be linked in the video description box below. If you don't have them, you can also use these ones here, which I love, which are the little picket fence from the Secret Garden Collection by Dovecraft. Again, I will link these ones below. And if you don't have any of these and you're also, you know, and you're somewhere where you, you can't get these supplies, then use the same kind of process, I guess, on how I made the pop-up card using the same products, and I'll link that up here, and you can make your own little fence. It's very easy to do, and you don't even have to have a fence. You could just have, when I show you the strips that I'm using, these here, <laughs> you could just cut all of this and make it look like grass and have that as your kind of base you know maybe layer it up a bit more with some stronger card but there's lots of ways to adapt this you do not have to have the fence okay now that's the card and the topper to make the box which we'll do at the end so I'll come back to that later on and if you did miss when I made the pop-up card it's using this kit here which is from Papercraft Essentials. I think by the time this video goes out, this may be then a back issue, but you can still get them over on Craft Stash and I will share this again, or will be linked below. But it's really, really good. And I've still got loads left. That's, I mean, look at all that there. I'm not gonna use all of that. Then I've got the toppers still here, like all your sentiment toppers. I've got two sheets here. I haven't even, oh no, one, sorry. I haven't even gone into that at all. And I've got all the papers. So yeah, it's, Really, really good. What it says there includes 183 elements, which are all these pieces here. So well worth the money. So what you need, um, because this is gonna be, it's kind, I'm kind of going on a five by seven card, although these are just over four. Yeah, they're coming just under four and a half, but by the time you've built this up and you've got bits maybe sticking over the edge, I thought I'll do the envelope to fit a five by seven because that's the most common. So you can make yours a bit wider if you want to, once you see how I do it all. But for the time being, I've got, you're gonna need one piece that is one and three quarters by nine, and then one and three quarters by eight and a half. Now the nine I've already done here, it's already stuck down. So basically you can see there, the two of these fences together brings you to eight and a half because they're four and a quarter wide each. And then it leaves me with this half an inch piece here. Now I didn't score anything, I literally have just stuck these, which I'm gonna do with this one. Now this one here, they will cover completely because this is just the whole width, that eight and a half width. So, what I want to do straight away, so you ignore that I've done all the flowers, but you want to attach your two pieces. So what I would say is with the one that's nine inches long is maybe just score at eight and a half along the long side. So you'll have a score line here, mine's just folded. You then want to stick this piece over the top, so then you've just got one really, really long strip. 
Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on this one here. I mean, once you see me do this, you, you can, I know loads of you will, you'll just go off and make your own sizes. Uh, you know, some of these cards are just more of an inspiration. You don't have to follow it to a T, and that's, I mean, that's with most of my tutorials. I like that you can go off and find other things around your craft room that you can, you know, use and adapt. Okay, so that's that one there. So I'm not going to fold, I'm, I'm not going to score this because I, it just folds on its own. So wherever, you know, you kind of, or whatever it is you're using, I guess if you're not using these kind of wooden fences, then you may want to score, you, you know, accordingly. But I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap there just because, if you imagine, that one's folding out that way. This one's actually folding in. So when, if I was to put that right up to it, like that, it wouldn't actually be able to bend. So I'm going to actually come away a little bit. So it's got room to move up. So when it is in that folded form, can you see it then has the room to bend? So just bear that in mind. And um, so I'm going to stick, I don't want to stick all over it because these top bits are sticking up. So I'm just going to start just a little way down. Okay, so when you have the mountain fold, you can butt them right up to each other, but when you've got the valley fold, you need to leave a gap. So these ones I can butt right up to each other. And it just comes up to the edge there. Okay, so make sure it's all dry, and then what you can do is start folding it. So I've got my mountain fold, my valley fold, and then this one here, it's still drying, but I am gonna bend it around like so. And you can just really fold them once they're into place. There we go. So already you can see how cool is that going to look. Then you can fold the whole thing together and then that will fit in that envelope that I'm going to make later on because you've got a lot of bulk there. But how cool is that? So now it's just down to decorating. So it's really, really easy to do. And I have this white cardstock here which is going to go over the back once we've... So if I just bring this one round here. So I pop this white cardstock over all of this so that you've got somewhere to write your message. Okay, so if you want to stamp on that, do so before you stick it down because it's just obviously a bit easier. But now I'm going to start sticking these down. So I always start off with the kind of largest flowers that I want to have. So I'm going to have one large flower. So I've got that large one within this fence and I've got this blue one within this fence. So I'm going to have this lovely pink one here. All the proportions are wrong, but I don't care. <laughs> so if you're, if you're wanting to have something that is looks real then obviously yeah go for it but that's not my intention I didn't want it to look real I just wanted it to look beautiful and colourful so I think I'm going to use that yellow one there or maybe I'll have yellow and then that one maybe I'll do that because then they're kind of got a bit of a blue pink yellow pink there we go so I kind of just line everything up. Now you need to bear in mind your height. Now this is going to be fitting into a five by seven 3D envelope, but I have extended it by quarter of an inch. It's actually five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, just to allow for any bulk that you might have on your cards. So again, I'm using my grid and just want to count up the squares. So I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is as, as high as I can go. You can see here, this is just below it. So that I'm fine with that. I don't want to go any higher. But just bear that in mind, obviously, when you're lying this down and setting everything up. So what I'm going to do now is start sticking down all of the kind of the greenery. So if you see along the bottom here, I've got this leaf here, 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 and I've got some stuff here. I actually stick them all down first. So I'm just going to go along here and start placing kind of leaves and, and so on. Okay, so they're all stuck down. Then what I did with the two large ones, I actually stuck them with some acetate. So now I can't see it, here it is. <laughs> so I've just got some acetate sheet here. This is just from packaging, like I always do. I don't go out and buy the expensive stuff unless it's my 12 by 12. All anything else is just from, you know, stamps and dies that I've kind of received. I always cut down the packaging. So I'm just popping some of the double-sided tape there on the top and then just stick it on this one here, okay? And then remembering where my top line is, so it's this line here, I wanna stick this in, so I know I can cut away 
a chunk of that and I'm going to stick it just there and I'm going to do the same with this one here so again I've got my acetate but I don't need to cut that piece of acetate down at all because that will go in probably roughly about there and that one there so then I'm going to stick some tape on the bottom. This will become stronger once we start sticking more things to it. So if you imagine here's the acetate but that's stuck to it, this is attached to that, this is all attached so the whole thing becomes very strong because look you can see that that's actually quite uh, flimsy I guess acetate but once I stick more to it it will be fine. So I'm just going to bring this down, pop it on a little angle and stick that there. And then this one here so now you want to start building up around the acetate so you can see here I've brought in the smaller kind of flowers so yeah I'm going to start sticking stuff down I don't use any more acetate now I just stick things to other things so I might you know if I was to pop maybe that slightly underneath there I would stick a little bit of glue under that leaf to attach that and kind of work my way down I could pop that in there and then attach it to that so yeah it all becomes one piece once you're finished so yeah I'm going to crack on and get this one finished. Okay so there is the card I think this looks stunning. Now because the pop-up cards that I've done they were birthday cards because this is using the same supplies I've decided to make this one thinking of you and I think this is perfect for get well just to send to somebody how how lovely is that to receive that is definitely going to lift somebody's spirits even if it's just for a short while it's just such a joyful looking card so I thought thinking of you would be really appropriate so now I'm going to flip it over and like most pop-up cards the backs don't look you know it's it's all about the front so there's not much you can do about this on any pop-up box card you will see a same kind of view from the back so yeah I mean that's just how it goes but I'm now gonna stick this piece over here I'm gonna use the red tape just because it's gonna go across some of that acetate and the wet glue won't really stick to that so I'm just gonna pop couple of strips of this and then I'll, oh, there you go, that's run out, so that one will just, oh look at that, don't you love it when you run out of something, or not run out, you get to the end of something and it just covers your project, <laughs> saves me having to get another roll. Simple pleasures, hey guys, okay so that's that and then I'm just going to add some normal glue there just through the middle, get this one stuck down. I mean, you may want to stick this down later on once you've wrote on it, but it's pretty flat here, so I'll be able to write on this still anyway. Okay, so that is the back done, and then the whole thing. Just kind of rework it a little bit, because you've just added that card, but it will all fold like this. The person will take it out of the envelope, and this is what they will then be greeted with. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. Okay, so let's just quickly get the envelope made. Okay, so you want one piece that's seven and a quarter by nine and three quarters, and then you want one piece that is seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter, and then this is my piece to go on top, and this is five by seven. Okay, so that is the actual exact size of, I guess, the card that you would have to go in this, but I have given you that extra room. So first of all, with the seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter piece, you want to score along the seven and a quarter side, you want to score at one inch and at six and a quarter, and then rotate and score again at one inch and at eight and a quarter. Then on the other piece, so this is your piece of seven and a quarter by nine and three quarters. Again, along the seven and a quarter side, you want to score at one inch and at six and a quarter. And then you want to score at half an inch, one and a half, and eight and three quarters. Okay. 
Then you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines on both pieces. Okay, so you have two pieces like this. Now I've already gone and crossed where we need to cut on the tops. So with my scissors, first of all, with a smaller piece, you will have all equal sides. Okay, so you'll have two one by one squares in the bottom left and right and also in the top left and right. So decide what's your top and what's your bottom. Where I've got the cross is the top for me. So along the bottom here, you just want to cut up. Let me use my smaller snips here actually. You just want to cut up these two score lines just to the first score line. Okay. And then you want to cut these out completely. Then rotate it and then you want to cut down the same lines as before to the first score line, like so. But then this middle section you're going to actually remove completely. So if you fold one of those little square pieces in, you'll be able to get your scissors in and very neatly cut that whole piece out. Okay, so that's what you should be left with. Now I'm not going to take any little extra bits off yet, we'll do that in a moment, just leave that one to one side. Then with this one, what you will have is a half inch tab, then a one inch piece, and then a one inch piece at the bottom. Well, I've just said it there, this one inch piece that's on its own is the bottom, okay? So with this one here, you want to cut up these two lines again, like so but this time we're going to leave these but you do want to take little wedges off so you create these tabs because these are going to stick inside the box and give it its nice shape okay like so then rotate the whole thing round and because we've kept these in on this piece we can remove them on this one but this time you'll have that little rectangle and then square because you've got that half inch piece at the top here so you just want to cut down past the first score line and you're going to cut to the second score line here then rotate and just remove that just cut away the score line so it looks nicer and then you want to do the same on this one here so if you make a lot of cards with embellishments and you know 3d flowers and stuff this will work for as a nice envelope for all those kind of projects. It's not just for this one, that's why I wanted to make it a little bit bigger. So I thought by doing the five by seven, even though this card is a little bit smaller than that, this will be used by a lot of you to kind of refer to. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna stick those two inside and then this is all gonna stick in as well. So, like that. Actually I'm thinking we don't need those tabs on that other one at all. No, you don't need those. So, because we don't want any more bulk. On these ones here you can actually take them out completely. Now, the one without this piece here is going to be the front. So that will sit and close over all of that one. So it will kind of hug the one below. And then these pieces will go in the side, this will close and that's our little tab. So again, I'm not going to snip at any of this. I'm going to leave it all for, I'm going to leave it all and then do it once we stick it down. So flip this one over and you want to add glue or double-sided tape to all of these three sides. Okay, so if you start with the bottom one and stick this one over here, stick it right up to the, the score line like so, and then these pieces can go inside and you should just be able to stick it all around. If you pop it on its side and I'm going to use these scissors because they're at hand so I can just kind of go in there make sure that's all stuck down. You've got some wiggle room there as well because I'm using the wet glue. Okay, and now when you close those down, this might not go in. So what you want to do, and that's not a bad thing, that's because you now need to take a few little bits off the side, but never take too much. I always say just a little slither. You just want to make, turn this little 
flap here into a little kind of tab that's now going to push inside and again with these pieces here I'm just going to take just a little bit off of the the front one really you can do both but while it's all together now you only really need to do the one on the front and then you can fold those in and you as I always say you want it to be snug you don't want this popping open I can still take a little bit away that side and obviously I do need to get it to close <laughs> there perfect that is locked in itself and that's what you want so I'm just going to open it back out again and then I have this piece here which is now going to sit nicely on the front there and I might put another little sentiment on this I'm not sure yet probably will because there's quite a kind of empty space but I might also add more flowers onto the little plant pot there so I'm just going to stick that one down over the top but I could have maybe for someone special or to my friend or something on that I'm not sure but I'll leave it blank for now because again this end may, may well end up being brought by one of my friends because they buy a lot of my cards or if I do end up giving it to someone myself then I can obviously add to that if I want to but that's the front and then this now can fold up and you could wrap some tissue around it if you wanted to. The nice thing about this is you could also put another little gift in there as well as the card but it fits in there really nice so it's just got a little bit of wiggle room because I gave it that extra quarter of an inch wider and higher so you can see there it's just not far off the top and that's perfect so that should fit all of your five by seven cards that are up to an inch in kind of height because it, like I said if you've got those 3D flowers and things like that this will allow for that so it's a nice envelope size but there you have it guys I'll keep it like that so you can kind of see how it will look displayed but I absolutely adore this and I love that you've got your box there your box envelope to uh, keep it nice and safe so I hope you've enjoyed this other card for this year's series and I'll be back again soon with another one thanks for watching bye <laughs>